Today in science class, we're going to continue to refine our understanding of Newton's laws of motion. What I'd like you to do to make sure that you've got a good understanding of the first, second, and third law is to watch this crash course video on Newton's law. You can click this link right here. It'll also be provided on your Google Classroom page as there's a detailed explanation of those three laws and how they're useful in the world for us understanding how motion takes place. After you've watched that, you're going to watch this video or watch this video, then watch that video, then you're going to go to the IXL activity G.8 and practice understanding and predicting forces using Newton's third law of motion. <coughs> Bless me. Here's, let's get started. G.8, predict forces using Newton's third law. Isaac Newton was born in the 1600s and studied how objects move. He discovered three fundamental laws about force and motion. According to Newton's third law, for every force, there's an equal and opposite force. Consider the following force. A hockey stick is pushing on a hockey puck. According to Newton's third law, what other force must be happening? Well, if the hockey stick is pushing on the puck, what's the puck pushing on? The hockey puck is pushing on the hockey stick, or the hockey puck is pulling on the hockey stick. Because it's describing the force that's being applied pushing, we're going to select that one in the opposite direction. Consider the following here. A dog is pulling on a leash. According to Newton's third law, what other force must be happening? The leash is pushing on the dog or pulling on the dog. Notice it's describing the type of force that's happening. Therefore, the opposite has to be happening in the opposite direction. The dog is pulling on the leash. The leash is also pulling on the dog, technically. Consider the following. Estelle, her hand is pushing on a door. According to Newton's third law, what other force must be happening? It says pushing on the door, and it's her hand that's doing the pushing. The door must be then pushing on her hand. What I like to do is sometimes just try and read these backwards. Door pushing on the hand, and then that's how I'm going to select how I would appropriately pick out what's going on with Newton's third law. Consider the following. A fridge magnet is pulling on a paperclip. According to Newton's third law, what force must be happening? The magnet is pulling on the paperclip. The paperclip must be also pulling on the magnet, even though it doesn't seem like that because the magnet is what creates that type of magnetic force. Technically, however, because the metal is being introduced to that magnetic force, the metal also becomes a magnet itself. So the paperclip is pulling on the fridge magnet in return. Here we go to stage two where our questions get a little bit more difficult, but nothing that we can't handle. Here we go. Consider the following. A canoe paddle is pushing backward on the water in a lake with a force of 120 newtons. According to Newton's third law, what other force must be happening? Now because the third law says there is an equal and opposite force, that force has to be exactly the same. doesn't mean that they're canceling again because they're pushing on two different things, but their force is still going to be equal. So we have the canoe paddle pushing backward on the water. The water is then pushing back on the paddle. So let's find the one where it describes this. The water is pushing forward on the canoe paddle with a force of 120 newtons. The canoe paddle is pushing forward on the canoe, or the canoe paddle is pulling forward on the water. We said pushing, so pushing is going to be the correct one. Backward and forward, so equal and opposite, and the same amount of force. That's correct. Consider the following. A horse is pulling forward on a wagon with a force of 200 newtons. According to Newton's third law, what must be happening? Pulling forward, so we're looking for pulling backward the opposite happening, and it being the same force. The wagon is pulling backward on the horse with a force of 200 newtons. That's the opposite of pulling forward on the wagon. So we have the two items that are acting on each other as opposites and the same force that's being applied. Consider the following again. A disc magnet is pulling up on a paperclip with a force of 30 newtons. According to the third law, what must be happening? So the disc magnet is pulling on the paperclip. We're looking for paperclip pulling on the magnet at the 30 newton force. Paperclip is pulling down on the disc magnet with a force of 30 newtons. This says pulling up. This says pulling down. That's equal and opposite, and they're both at 30 newtons. That must be the correct one. Now let's just take a look at these other two to make sure we know what's different. This magnet is pushing down. So pulling down, pushing down, that's a little bit of a different description. And here it says the disc magnet is pulling down on the paperclip with a force of 30 newtons. So this one describes the disc magnet, this one describes the paperclip. We're looking for the opposite force, so that's the paperclip. A birthday candle is pushing down on a cake with a force of 0. 0 0.02 newtons. According to Newton's third law, what must be happening? So the candle and the cake, we're looking for the cake and the candle. If it says pushing, we must have some type of pulling that's happening. 
cake is pulling down on the birthday candle with the forces 20 newtons, or it's pushing up. In this case, we have the opposite. If it's pushing in one direction, the opposite would be pushing up, pushing down, pushing up. See how those are the opposite of each other? The cake is doing the pushing on the candle, where the candle was doing the pushing on the cake. They don't cancel each other because they're acting on opposite forces, but that force is exactly the same. A bar magnet is pulling up on a nail with a force of 50 newtons. We're looking for the nail pulling down on the bar magnet. A nail is pulling down on the bar magnet with the same force. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's our answer. Hope that helps. You can get to the same level of mastery as Mr. Shane. That obviously didn't take very long. You, what you're looking for, again, is applying that equal and opposite force. And it's, because it's equal and opposite, it's not canceling because it's happening on two different objects. You've got to see where the description is showing it happening on two different objects. Again, watch this video and then watch the crash course video that is linked here and on Google Classroom. That will give you a good summary of the three laws. And then you can watch this to apply that third law and show your understanding. God's blessings.